Question number third. Draw a pie chart showing the following information. The table shows the colors preferred by a group of people. So again, a survey was conducted. In such type of questions, a survey is always taken in order to find the interests of a group of people. So we have four different colors that are liked by different number of people. And at the first look, we know that blue color is liked by most. That is 18 people like blue color. And complete people that were surveyed were equal to 36. So this will help us in the fraction part finding. Remember it. So the question directly says, we need to construct a pie chart that simply means that we have to follow two processes. First of all, we need to find the sector angles and then using that central angle, we need to construct our actual pie chart. Although this question is very small, but it concatenates various procedures that need to be followed. Again, a hint is given by this girl. Find the proportion of each sector. That is what we talk and use this, the corresponding angles, the same thing. Now we shall construct a table because in tabular representation, it becomes easy to understand about different sub events. So we just copied two columns from the given question, colors and number of people. The extra two columns, remember these are columns, the vertical ones are columns and these horizontal ones are rows. The next column we add as proportion of sector because we are not directly given angle measurements. We are given ratios, fractions. Therefore, we need to represent the information in terms of fractions first of all. Therefore, we wrote proportion of sectors. Why didn't we wrote ratios of sectors? Well, proportion is with respect to some other values. That's why we wrote proportion of sectors because we are finding these values for different sub events that is with respect to different events. If blue was the only case, then we could write it as ratio of blue color. But we are considering four sub events of this bigger event and the last column represent corresponding angles or you can also call it as sector angles. So we wrote blue, green, red, yellow, 18, 9, 6, 36, nothing fancy, just copied this. Now the fun part is over here. We need to find ratio for blue color first of all. So 18 people liked out of what? 36. So the same has been done over here due to space issues. We used different representation for division. So 18 over 36. It is very similar to writing it as 18 over 36. It is the computerized form of writing. You can also write it like this. The only thing is that you need to construct bigger table for that. Again, for space issues, we directly wrote its simplest form. And why we write simplest form? Because we learn from previous years of our understanding that the simplified version of fractions is easier to calculate further. Although the value of both these fractions is equal to each other. So how we simplify? Simply, 1 18 is 18 and 18 to the 36. So 1 over 2. Simple over here. You can do it in your rough space and you can write it like this in order to make your work tidy. So rough space is always written on the side of the page. You put a line like this and you write rough over here and you do your calculations sideways of the question you are doing. Now corresponding angles. Since we have found 1 over 2 over here, so we are multiplying it with the central angle in order to find our sector angle. Nothing fancy, we are just repeating the same thing again and again. So this 1 over 2 that we found, 1 over 2 that we just found as our ratio for blue, we need to find its corresponding sector angle. This 1 over 2 is of what? 360 degrees of central angle because we are going to represent it in terms of pie chart. So simple half of 360 is what? It is 180 degrees. So the same has been written over here. Now we shall do for the rest of the parts quickly. Green is for 9. 9 is out of what? 36. Because complete is 36 number of people out of which 9 like green color. Solve it. 1 9 is a 9. 9 4 is a 36 like this. If you are fluent in solving it, you can just solve it in your mind. But certain times teacher like to watch that how you actually performed it just in case they think that you're cheating. Now this ratio 1 over 4 is getting multiplied with 360 degrees. So 360 by 4, what is it? If you divide 
360 into 4 part, it is 90 degrees each. Therefore, 90 degrees came for green color. Red, 6 people like out of what? 36. So, 6 over 36. 1, 6 is 6. 6, 6 is 36. So, 1 over 6. So, 1 over 6 of what? Of central angle. 360 degrees. Again, 360 gets divided in 6 equal parts. That is 60 degrees each. Now, for yellow part, we have number of people, 3 people. So, 3 out of what? Complete 36. So, 1, 3 is a 3. 12, 3 is a 36. Therefore, ratio came as equal to 1 over 12. Now, let's solve you over here. Just in case you think we are rushing. 1 over 12 out of what? It is out of 360 degrees. That is central angle of this circle. So, we will always multiply with central angle. That is 360 degrees. Do not cram it. Just remember that central angle is equal to 360 degrees. Again, cancel it. Cancel it with 12. So 112 is a 12. You know very well. 12, 3 is a 36. And plugging this 0 as it is. So 30 into 1 is 30 degrees. Again, from our understanding, we know very well that if we will add all these proportions, then that should equate to 1. You can also write it. Because we are talking about complete whole part. And whole part is always 1. And fractions are always less than that. This you know very well from the concepts of fractions. Again, when we will add all these angles, this will equate to 360 degrees. You can write it because these smaller angles or sector angles when added up will give you the complete central angle equal to 360 degrees. It should be 360 and here it will be degrees. Now, our first part has been solved and we have cross-checked it. It is correct. Now we need to draw pie chart. So simple, take whatever radius you want to just large enough that you can show information correctly construct it with the help of compasses always tackle the easiest angles first of all 180 degrees you know very well we have to just divide circle into two equal halves so the same has been done over here 180 degrees for blue and we wrote it here this is 180 complete we need to divide it into different sectors so green one is 90 degrees you know very well if we divide this remaining 180 degrees into two equal halves, then we shall get 90 degrees. So we got it over here. That is green color. Again, using the method that we just described in previous question. Now we need to divide this 90 degrees remaining as 60 and 30. So we will put the origin of protractor over here and put the protractor horizontal line over this radius. And then here it will read 60 degrees. As we can see over here, it will read over here. Make a line and write the value as red equals to 60 degrees. And the last part, you need not to find it. If you have constructed previous angles correctly, then this one should equate to 30 degrees, which you can again check with the help of protractor and write its value as yellow equals to 30 degrees. So in this way, we have constructed successfully a pie chart. That is, first of all, we found sector angles. Prior to that, we found proportions of different sub-events and based upon our sector angle we constructed our final pie chart with that a third part has been solved